What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Collider Interview Studio at Sundance 2024. I am lucky enough to be sitting with the team behind Pony Boy. Congratulations. The movie's phenomenal. I'm so happy for you all. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Before we get into our conversation, I have to say a special thank you to Filmio, our Sundance sponsor this year. They are an incredible company that's breaking barriers by putting the power to greenlight movies in the hands of creators and fans. If you'd like to learn more about Filmio, check out their website, film.io. All right, River, I'm giving you the hardest question of the bunch today. Hit me with it. A lot of our viewers are going to first learn about Pony Boy through Sundance. So can you give us a brief description of your movie? Yes. So it all unfolds on a cold Valentine's Day in New Jersey. And Pony Boy is an intersex sex worker who has a drug deal that goes wrong and um, is needs to escape from the mob on a chilling 24 hours in New Jersey. You came to play today. I like it. That was spot on. I came to play. Well delivered. Well delivered. I think that means you'll be ready for my complicated two-part question Mm -hmm. about taking this from short to feature. Can you tell me one thing that was really difficult about getting the green light on the feature version? But then I also want to know something about the short and its reception that actually made getting the green light easier. I think the hardest part about getting the green light from the short was that the pandemic happened. And that was, it was really a struggle, honestly, because I think in the indie filmmaking landscape, people were really more averse to taking risk. And the, the film is, is bold, it's unapologetic. And at the helm of it was me, a, you know, a discovery talent. And I think a lot of people passed on what they enjoyed, a, a well-crafted script, but because I was in the middle of it, they didn't want to take that risk because of you know the state of the economy and the pandemic and all that stuff. Um, so that was really hard because it was like I knew that I had gold on my hands, and I think other people also recognized it as well. But you know, that's just timing. Um, but I think what made it easier was that the short was so beloved by so many people, and I still get people that that I'm like you've seen the short like why and they're like because it's good and i saw it and it's it's a standalone film on its own right and especially for what it did for like culture and it's weird to be honest about of a, a short film like having some kind of cultural impact but it really had a life of its own that when uh, our producers mark and and Trevor came involved like they they loved the short so much and so when they saw this the feature script they were just fully on board short films make all the difference i always yeah. say this about roles in movies too there are no small roles and short films are just as valuable as feature films and also they can be used as calling cards to get features off the ground too there's so many movies at sundance this year that are coming in here that got their feature opportunity because their short exists yeah mm. i love it i love it so you were a co-director on the short mm-hmm. here you hand the directing reins over to esteban yes. what was it about him that gave you the confidence that you know this is someone i can hand my baby to to, in a sense. I mean, Esteban is just the sweetest human being. He he was like <laughs> our, our our sweet dad <laughs> that like just he he saw me and understood me on multiple levels, not just as an artist, but as a human. We spent some time in New Jersey before um we went into production just getting to know each other and I was like this this guy just not only on a technical, stylistic, and visual um, mastery over the craft, he also had the ability to have deep compassion for not only the cast, but every crew member. Like, everyone just loves him. And I think that love, when it permeates, when it starts from the top, it just permeates all throughout. And I just knew from the way he um, was able to handle and and resonate so much with different aspects of the story um that he was the right person yeah all right esteban for you now when you jump into a project like this what kind of convinces you that you know you have the skill set to do river's vision justice but but also what separates you from the other directors what did you think you could bring to this film as a director that maybe some others out there couldn't I mean, I read the script and it was phenomenal. It was like I read it in one go. Um, so at the story level, it was always there. But I did take, you know, a, a minute to consider, am I the right person t- for this um, task? Because I'm I'm not queer, I'm not intersex. 
but I am an immigrant. And that is the lens that I wanted to use to tell this story. As a first-generation immigrant, you kind of come to this country or wherever else that you're moving with a set of like inherited values, belief systems, religion. And at some point you have to reckon with that. D does it make sense for you to continue that? Or do you adopt a new identity, a new set of beliefs? And that to me felt like a universal story that hit very close to home. Um, and that's when I was like, I'll do everything to make this a badass movie. And then, because the story takes place so much inside of Pony Boy's head, uh, I love that in movies, you know, movies that make us dream, uh, that we can really flex with all the cinematic language, uh, using music and just different cinematic styles to create a, a, a full colorful world it's 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 a world on its own so it's i mean i couldn't say no <laughs> can you give us a specific example of a technique you use to make uh pony boy's internal world feel accessible to the audience um i feel like the specificity of the sequences um where pony boy remembers like um even though they're traumatic moments with family they feel specific in in the language and the culture and the iconography that we show um, and the visual language that we use is so different it contrasts with the rest of the movie and so like it it pulls you in makes you pay attention um, and it feels playful too like it doesn't it doesn't revel in tragedy it wants you to you know connect with the character and not feel pity but empathy you know very successful in that yeah. respect this is my favorite type of question to ask. I want all of you to talk about River because this is this is your first time leading a feature <laughs> film, your first time writing a feature film, your first time producing a feature film. And if you want more of those opportunities, I have a very good feeling they're gonna be out there for you. So can you each name something about River as like a scene partner, collaborator, a leader on set that you're excited for more artists to get to experience when they work with them in the future? I got something I wanna say. <laughs> <laughs> say it, say it loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want a master class in if in in the lesson of if you want something done you gotta do it yourself look no further than River Gallo I watched River, not from the very beginning, but maybe like toward the end of the beginning <laughs> of the journey. <laughs> I've watched River um, from the end of the beginning on. Actually, literally take something that they wanted to do, they wanted to create, they wanted to become, and that they wanted to see and they made it happen. I mean, I've been talking about the things that I want to make with so much passion for like six years. Mm. And <clears throat> the same time that I heard that River wanted to do something was the same time that I heard it was getting done. And that is incredibly inspiring to me. And I think it's really important for people to be able to recognize when somebody has power before they have power mm -hmm. and the ways that we're used to associating power in this industry. For example, you know, you gotta be one of the show on the top, uh, you know, you gotta have the, you know, this, this, and this, and that. And, the, and River literally was like, brought everything together and told an incredibly powerful, sorry, I'm taking up too much time, yeah. in a story, a, 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 a story slash dream slash real life experience that we can all relate to or that many people can relate to who aren't intersex. And they told it from the narrative and perspective of an intersex person. And I think that's so brilliant and important and powerful. Um, 
nobody, a lot of people don't even know that intersex folks exist. Um, and a lot of people only know how to identify intersex people through language that is outdated, for example, hermaphrodite. And um, there are so many different terms that are derogatory that people may be familiar with in association to intersex people. But I think River brought so much humanity to um, an experience that people have tr that, that people are still delegitimizing um, as less than human and um, less deserving of, of autonomy and, and fully just like put all of their potions together and made such a brilliant film and they managed to create an intersection. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be that funny. Sorry. <laughs> with a narrative about, um, with a, with an, they made an intersection in their story with a, 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 a trans person's experience as well, and like sort of built a scenario where um, this intersex person is depending on this trans person who's so resourced, but then they're they're and then they're both walking away from the situation with something that they need. Um, and that the trans person didn't know that they needed. And, and this is a historic film for so many reasons, but also I'm deeply inspired and I hope that people don't take for granted this opportunity to learn and feel and experience something that exists outside of themselves. Also, like seeing everybody talk about what this film means to them and what it means for them to be a part of it has been the, each and every person involved that has spoken about it. I've seen speak so emotionally and so deeply about their relationships to their characters and also just this film. And I can't highlight enough how incredible it is to see the opportunity that River has made for people to feel deeply behind the camera, in front of the camera, in the audience, in the story. And also, I don't know, River managed to put together a really beautiful group of people who are just really beautiful people. Just, and, 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 I, and I wanna be a part of more of that in film and TV. And I almost quit because I didn't have enough of those experiences. And River mm -hmm. reignited the love. I know y'all getting tired, of, but <laughs> River reignited the love for art and filmmaking and creativity for me. And I know that they're gonna do that for so much for so many more people. So yeah, I took my time in talking about River and their incredible cast, my colleagues, because this is a historic, this is a historic project. Um, and I wanted to put as much energy as I could in, in really trying to explain what I wanted to say, so thank you. It's an important thing to explain, <laughs> it's a beautiful answer. <laughs> Who can top that? <laughs> no, it's not a competition. Yeah, no. there's no, t I don't think topping that is the language. Um, uh, I mean, I would just watching India just now uh, was incredible, and just so many reasons that you just stated um, uh, were woven into that. Watching you for me, watching you speak about River, watching you speak about what this experience meant to you, um, watching you speak so eloquently and emotionally um, about how it reignited a love for you, mm. watching Victoria. Um, like I mean, like li literally, um, come to tears in answering questions about her character today. You know, um, watching Esteban last night address uh, uh, in such a vulnerable way your insecurities at first, your doubts that you had of like, am I the right person? Right, and you get an emotional last night and everything. It is really profound and special. Um, 
that we all do feel this way about this piece that we are a part of, you know? And that is like real. That's like as authentic as it gets, you know what I mean? And so we're all just, I think, very on the same page and just so presently aware of that and what this means in this moment and what this means in this moment in River's life. Uh, and just the, the gratefulness that I feel, that we all feel to be uh, even a part of that is um, very true and very true so deeply. Um, because we all love you so much. Uh, I think we all fell in love with you instantly. Everyone falls in love with you instantly. And that is not an accident. You are light. Uh, you are you are so special. I mean, I know we're born the same year. We're also both from North Jersey. You know what I mean? Like we have we we. I just feel like I just connected to you so much, just so instantly. But you you just you're like that with everybody. You know, you radiate. And um, uh, I mean, it's it's in terms of what uh, the world can expect uh, from River as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this is this is what we want from our artists, isn't it? Uh, somebody somebody who. I mean, I mean, your your blood is on that page, baby. You know what I mean? Like that's that's this story is is so truly you to your bones. You know, uh, so it's just it's not like go. You know, we're not going to work every day. Uh, 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 yeah, it's 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 bigger than that. You know what I mean? Um, everyone just put everything into it. Was just like so inspiring uh, to go to get to go and do this every day, and then to have this moment here. I mean, just the I couldn't be more grateful. I'm all crushing this question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Oh, sorry, Victoria. You went, no, yeah. go for it. I was, you know, same. Like the second that I met River, I was like, I am meeting somebody that is so unique. Like I have never met anybody so in touch with their identity and so secure in who they are, even though they are in, you know, the, the pinnacle of breaking the conversation towards the bigger audience right um that takes a lot of courage a lot of you know introspection and um they did that for all of us like river challenged some things in me about my heritage about you know who who i am as a latino man and it's made me grow so much and i feel like um this movie that we all made together is a gift that you know it's a once in a lifetime thing that we get to create and it's alchemy really um and i hope that people dig the movie and have a great time with it because it's so yeah. fucking fun um but also life-changing got high hopes that's going to be the response to this all right Vic, what you got yeah i'm like what what does the future hold like if people choose to, uh, I mean, like, <laughs> what? I'm buzzing. <laughs> it's, yeah, this has been like a really amazing experience getting to talk about this film a lot. But like to be able to talk about you, um, I mean, you're an incredible person. You're incredibly um, introspective. I, I, I think that, you know, I don't think you come towards a sense of like security and understand yourself and holding all of your like complexity as a person. Like that's how you draw s and paint such beautiful pictures of such complex characters. Um, and I don't know. I'm just so curious, like what the next story you're going to make is. <clears throat> I really hope that you can I don't know. I just don't. I kind of just have the ultimate faith that you will stay true to yourself th throughout your career. And I hope you just keep being empowered to make exactly what you want. Um, yeah, I mean, this has been such an amazing opportunity. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I just have faith. And I just, I think everybody else should too. And that it's going to be brave and bold and filled, filled with love. Because that's like the most important thing. Like th this movie has a lot of tragedy and like suffering in it. But ultimately it's very um, hopeful. Um, which I think you are also. And yeah, I... 
I think everybody will want to work with you as long as they can respect you and let you do exactly what you want to do and just empower you to work with the people you want to work with and do what you want to do. Yeah. Period. Oh, those answers. <laughs> oh, what a what a beautiful and they better conversation. Not be difficult to work with. Yeah, because we'll come <laughs> for them. Because we'll come for them. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be the difficult one. <laughs> to touch on some characters briefly, River, I I love yeah. how a character can expand when you have a different set of creators around you. So, is there any new layer to Pony Boy that you discovered because of the collaboration that you had with the people sitting at this table? Oh my God! Of course. I, I I I created something on the page that I thought I understood about the character and that I thought I understood of myself in the conceiving of the character and you know with like my acting coach or whatever but working with the these people like they're the most talented heartfelt just they kind compassionate i and the the did i say talented like literally i i just they took for some reason they believed in me and believed that despite not leading a a feature that i could you know go head to toe with them i mean like what like you guys are all in like seasons of television and i'm just like hey you want to make the movie <laughs> 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 but like I but the collaboration of work on each of them on all of our scenes together it, it changed my understanding of who I am and the layers of Pony Boy recognizing that I mean I always knew he was a flawed character and a, a bit of an anti-hero but I think there was something very early on that Esteban said to me that I, I thought that Pony Boy was a hopeless romantic and then Esteban said no I think he's a hopeful romantic ha! And I think, sorry, honey. I've only ever described myself that way. <laughs> but I've never heard anyone ever describe anyone. <laughs> Maybe you are too, honey, Pony I'm, Boy. I am. I haven't. Everyone has a Pony Boy inside yeah. of them. I think that's the thing. It's a character that is so specific in in his despair and his longing and his yearning that it becomes really universal and. And I discovered in myself that the movie is really about the journey of discovering one's belonging and redemption and and the ability to be okay with um, the uncertainties that life throws our way. And I think all of them made me feel okay about this next chapter of my life that is going to, you know, foreseeably be very different than what I once knew it to be. Um, but I, I just know that I... I have a family, a new family now that we created on Pony Boy, and I'm just thrilled to make more movies with with them. Filmmaking families make me so happy. I could keep. I'm getting the firm wrap up sign now. I could keep you here all day. The movie is phenomenal. It's like, truly something special. And before I even ever saw any of your work, and we had that conversation, just like you just exude such confidence, and it's infectious. I and I have a very good feeling. I know a certainty. It's going to inspire a lot of people out there. So thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Never oh, change. Really keep bringing you. your stories to the screen. Thank you, thank you all <laughs> so Barry. much for being here. To everybody out there, it. keep an eye out for Pony Boy. A big thanks to Filmio for sponsoring our Sundance studio, and we'll be back soon with more interviews. Pony Boy is gonna win everything.